Hey guys, this is Electro16. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, some stuff that I got from the last, uh, let's say, three to four months. So uh, from a little, little, little bit before Christmas up till now. Um, got a, quite a bit of stuff to show you. Some boxed, some loose. So uh, first off here we have uh, from the Arrow uh, TV show, uh, Arsenal. A uh, very nice figure. A uh, figure that I was very much uh, looking forward to. Uh, he's a character that uh, I think uh, is amazing. Uh, it was a bit too bad that uh, uh, they took him off the show. Uh, I know he came back in the last was it the last episode or the second to the last episode. Uh, it was good to see him back, but uh, uh, I hope we get to see more of him. So, uh, a very nice figure, uh, amazing sculpt, a uh, bunch of details, uh, paint job is uh, amazing, uh, uh, looks very nice, with the red jacket and uh, there's some black shading there, uh, the pants look amazing, black with the red lines, uh, a bunch of buckles there, uh, looks very much like it does in a TV show, very nice figure, uh, he comes with uh, his bow, comes with uh, some arrows, there's uh, one there, and there's a bunch in the back end of his quiver. Uh, he comes with a knife, and he comes with uh, two extra set of hands. Uh, he's got the hands that he's got on uh, now, I believe, are to hold the, uh, the bow. Um, he seems to have uh, some fisted hands, and I'm guessing probably uh, one hand to hold the uh, the knife. So uh, very nice figure. Next we have some stars figures from the uh, the Force Awakens. Uh, <coughs> the stormtrooper here. Initially, I'd said that I was gonna stay away from the uh, uh, the Force Awakens figures. Uh, question of uh, Face and uh, save a bit of money, but uh, I cracked. Uh, I saw the movie. I loved it. I thought it was absolutely amazing. And uh, the first figure that I actually picked up was uh, this one right here. Uh, I was at Toys R Us and uh, there was a sale, and uh, uh, I was surprised to actually see a strong group there uh, on the peg. Uh, I know they're hard to come by because people army build them, so they're most always uh, the first one's gone so uh, lo and behold was one there on the peg so uh, like I said I cracked I picked that up so I decided to get a few select figures from the movie like the main characters and uh, I don't want to get too many or you know go into all the uh, secondary characters so um, uh, yeah, very nice Stormtrooper uh, I like the design uh, modernized look but still keeping true to the uh, the original uh, design so uh, very nice I like the sculpt uh, like the details and the uh, paint not a lot of paint but with the paint that there is very very nice and he does come with two guns he's got a bigger one here he's holding and there's a second smaller one there in the package next we have Kylo Ren uh, very nice figure. Um, this one picked up at Walmart. Um, once again, I was uh, uh, there for other stuff, and I said, "Oh, go have a look in the tile." And lo and behold, there's one one figure left on the peg, and it's Kylo Ren. So I was amazed. It's the first time I actually saw him <clears throat> in the wild there. So uh, I was very happy. Very nice figure. Um, the mask looks good. Uh, we can't really see the sculpt or whatever there's below because of the robes, but the robes uh, look very nice. And uh, his uh, uh, lightsaber, uh, very nice, very nicely sculpted. Next we have the uh, seven-inch Neca. Uh, Christopher Reeve figure. Uh, this I got 
uh, two weeks ago at a uh, toy show here in Montreal. Uh, I was uh, very excited to uh, find this guy. Uh, I've seen images online and reviews uh, on YouTube, and I thought it looked absolutely amazing. Uh, and um, these are not really have not been released here in Canada. And them from this series, uh, the only other one that I actually wanted was the Keaton Batman. But uh, like I said, none of these were released here in Canada. So uh, uh, I figured that I would have to uh, uh, search and uh, maybe probably buy it online or whatever, whatever to be able to get it. Uh, but I was amazed on this side there when uh, when dealer had it on his table. So uh, as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it and uh, uh, very very nice figure. They, they did a really nice job. Uh, the head sculpt is dead on. It looks exactly like Christopher Reeve, and um, I just look love the way it looks. The paint job is great, and uh, uh, it looks amazing. Uh, I was not at all expecting to find that at the toy show, but uh, I was really happy when I when I spotted it. Um, so yeah, I've been wanting, like most people, I've been wanting a. Uh, well, this is seven inch, but six inch or seven inch scale, uh, Christopher Reeve, uh, Superman, and uh, I was really excited when I found out that they were actually doing one. Uh, at the last when I found out that it was once again going to be Toys R Us exclusive, uh, with, uh, that you get along with when you buy the movie, um, because I know that, like I said, none of the others, this this line hasn't been released in Canada, uh, so. Uh, Sucks, but I was really happy when uh, I was able to uh, to get it. So very nice figure. Uh, I recommend it to everybody. Looks really nice. Did a really nice job. And it's in the back, and it says, "Rocketed to Earth from the dying planet Krypton, baby Kal-el was found by a farming couple who named the boy Clark Kent, and raised him as their own. Discovering his enormous powers, they inst they instilled in him strong moral values and inspired him to become a hero." Now disguised as Clark Kent, bumbling, mild-mattered reporter for the Daily Planet, he uses the powers given to him by Earth's yellow sun to wage a ceaseless battle against crime and injustice. And it's a Superman the movie on the bottom. So, I recommend, recommend it to everybody. And, uh... Uh... If, if you find it, don't hesitate to pick it up. And, uh... If you don't spot it and you have to buy it online, you have to do a little bit, a little bit of digging. Uh, it's worth it, believe me. <coughs> Next, we have the Walgreens exclusive uh, Marvel Legends Yellow Daredevil. Uh, this is another figure that I originally said uh, that uh, <coughs> uh, I was probably going to skip. Um, for the simple fact that uh, there are no Walgreens here in Canada, and um, uh, it's a pain in the butt, in the butt to, the, the, to get, and um, uh, you usually have to uh, either order it online or uh, go through uh, some vendors that manage to get them here. Uh, it's usually, like I said, a pain in the butt to get them. Uh, but surprisingly, this time, um, I was not looking for it. It just basically, uh, I was given an opportunity. And um, it was a decent price. So I said, ah, you know, what the hell. Uh, I didn't have to uh, <laughs> do too much to get it. Like I said, it just the opportunity, opportunity presented itself. And uh, it was a decent price. So I decided to grab it. Um, and... Uh, I never regret it. Uh, it's a very nice figure. Uh, basically, if you have the regular uh, red Daredevil that was released in the, uh, the Spider-Man series, you know what to expect. Uh, this is a uh, straight repaint, basically. Um, did a really nice job. Looks really nice. And uh, <coughs> once again, he comes with uh, his uh, batons there. And uh, this time we have a unmasked uh, Matt Murdock uh, head. So uh, very nice uh, that they did that. Nice attention to detail. And because of some other uh, display option. 
So uh, very nice. Next, I got uh, this uh, yellow jacket uh, pop vinyl. Um, I'm not all that big into uh, the pop thing. Uh, they were some very nice ones. I think they do. A lot of them have uh, uh, very nice. They they, they uh, company that does them. They do uh, a nice job. And they look very nice. Um, and uh, I decided to get this one here because we didn't get. Uh, there was no release of uh, Yellow Yellow Jacket in the Marvel Legends. So I decided to get uh, this one. Um, so not as a stand-in because it doesn't fit in, but uh, so I can at least have a figure of uh, <coughs> Yellow Jacket. So it is very nice. I think they did a very amazing job of uh, the sculpt and the paint job. Looks really good. Uh, and I do plan to have this displayed. Uh, I have pre-ordered the um, uh, the Atman uh, pop. Uh, that uh, uh, comes with uh, Anthony. Uh, I saw pictures. It looks uh, amazing. So I plan and to have those two displayed together. Uh, next, we have uh, some loose figures. Uh, I managed to uh, get my hands on a. Uh, Thanos uh, build a figure <coughs> uh, looks very nice. Uh, this I found on a local uh, uh, online uh, classified, and um, uh, it was uh, really cheap for a build a figure. So uh, very nice figure, um, nicely sculpted. I uh, like the paint job. Um, of course, I still think uh, that the uh, uh, the best Thanos is the Marvel Select one, but um, this was nice. I mean, it's not it's not an ugly figure. Uh, <clears throat> some things that I think could have been done different, but uh, still a nice figure. Uh, nice paint job. Uh, I like the uh, the head sculpt. And next, yeah, you can stand here. You can give me a hard time. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold him. He's on the stand. Uh, this is the uh, the caretaker from the uh, Ghost Rider uh, movie series. Uh, <coughs> got this one on, at a uh, toy show a couple of weeks ago. Um, very nice figure. I have a few in the series. Uh, already and uh, I never managed to find this one so uh came across him decided to uh, to grab him uh, nice figure nice sculpt like uh, the way it looks with the, uh, the flame effects and everything uh, it comes with uh, his hat which is removable and uh well this is this comes with an oversized uh, gun there I just have it on there for now I doubt that I don't think I'm going to have him display with that on the shelf there. It's a bit funny looking. Uh, they have the attention to do with these gimmick things there. They're packing a gun that's three times too big. But, uh, nice figure. I like the way it looks. And the coat is, uh, trench coat is, uh, made of soft goods. Next. Another figure that I had been looking for, it seems forever, um, Judge Dredd from the uh, uh, legendary comic book heroes line from Toy Biz, uh, which is a line that Toy Biz did after they uh, lost the uh, Marvel Legends uh, license. <coughs> so uh, I've been looking for this guy forever. Um, I remember when they these came out. I passed, and then I decided I wanted him, and I couldn't find him. Uh, I came across basically all the other figures that were released in, the, in this line, but I can never find Judge Red. So I recently found one, uh, well, found this one, 
uh, local online classified once again um, they're cheap uh, <clears throat> I saw one I think three, three weeks before I got this one also on the same online classified and they were going this they, they were at, the person was asking like three times what I paid for this one so uh, as much as I wanted I figured ah I'm gonna wait it's too much money and sure enough two weeks later this guy pops up and uh, for uh, very cheap so I was extremely happy um, been looking for this one like I said seems for like forever and a day uh, <clears throat> he's missing one gun comes the trigger actually comes uh, with two guns. Uh, I'm missing one, so he has this one here, uh, which goes in the uh, uh, the uh, purple skicks me now with the uh, in the pouch here, and um, here's another one that's supposed to go in this one here, which is the one that's missing, and he also comes with a knife. goes on this one here. So, very nice figure. Uh, extremely happy to, uh, finally, after what seems forever to find one. Very nice figure. Uh, I know there was some that were released recently, uh, I forget the name of the company, uh, but I checked out reviews and I still think this one looks better, uh, personally. So, very happy. And then finally, <coughs> two last figures. Uh, we have uh, our Muppets figures. Um, I'm going to stand up you. Come on. Okay. And they have accessories here. Stand and an amp. Uh, <clears throat> I love the Muppets. Um, I have a few figures. Uh, they are extremely hard to come by. Uh, you basically never, never, ever see them uh, at shows. Um, I don't know if it's because uh, I guess people like them and. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of Muppets figures made, so uh, I guess I'm assuming that's why you never see them. Um, these I got uh, once again on local online classified. Uh, these I bought from the same guy who I bought the uh, Thanos from. Uh, once again, got an incredible de deal for these because um, I know Muppets figures. Uh, when you see them online, they don't go for cheap. Um, so this one here, uh, Floyd, the bass player, um, very nice figure, um, very nice sculpt. I love the paint job. Uh, these are made by a company called uh, Pelissad, Pelissad Toys, uh, which unfortunately no longer exists. They went on the business, um, which is too bad because I mean, uh, as you can see, they did amazing figures. And uh, in some aspects they were way ahead, way ahead of their time. Um, <clears throat> so you can see here he has he comes with his base, and he has a strap that goes around. And um, they all have uh, their hats are all the same. They actually have magnets. So you can see here the little round piece there's a magnet in there in a hat, and a round piece there on top of his head. He's got a magnet in there. So that's really cool. Make sure the hat stays there and it doesn't go anywhere. And uh comes with his amp, the bass. And then we have this guy here, if I get his name, the sax player. Um same deal. The hat it is on a magnet. Uh <coughs> very nice figures, both of them. And there are little other little like, <coughs> sorry, accessory here in the uh staff of the uh, uh music sheets. So uh, I was extremely happy when uh, I was able to get these. Like I said, uh, you never ever see them. Uh, every time I go to a show, I go uh, to stores, uh, out of town, I look and I look and you never ever ever see any Muppets figures. 
So I was really happy when I was able to get these. Um, I'm basically now missing one figure and I have the entire band. I'm missing Janice. So I'm hoping eventually one of these days to uh, to find her. So uh, so that's it for this time guys. Thanks for watching. Um hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, until next time.